Welcome back. A Texas man may have come up with a life-saving idea. He founded a company that makes lightweight bulletproof armor and puts it into common household items. Let's take a look. My mission is to save lives. Veteran Billy Gibbons just might have what it takes to combat gun-related violence. We are giving tools to average citizens that they can protect themselves should they find themselves in an active shooter situation. His Texas-based company, Armor Upfitters, can turn your everyday items into bulletproof shields. And it really does look like just a simple curtain. But should there be a drive-by, should someone shoot into your building or your home, you have a nice, safe, but stylish alternative to bulletproof glass. Not only curtains, Gibbons also makes bulletproof seat cushions, skateboards, school stop signs, and even wall art. You hang these on your wall so no one knows what they are, and then you've always got a shield to protect yourself. Gibbons says his company is one of a kind because his customers aren't just law enforcement or the government. Nobody makes protective equipment for parents, for small business owners, for churches, for temples, for schools. So we took kind of a different route. As a father himself, Gibbons makes sure the shields for schools look just like they belong there, like a crossing guard sign. I don't want to turn kids into gunfighters. I don't want kids to even think about this. That's why our shields are decorative. We can put, you know, bright pink unicorns, and we've done that. We, we want it to be protective gear that the children don't necessarily notice. From working with universities, Gibbons developed Armor Upfitter's unique technology that can make his shields lightweight. Having been shot, having been to war, having been um, sort of a victim in 9-11 and terrorist activities, I've many times I've faced very dangerous situations. And um, I make this gear as though I were wielding it or it was for my children. In the wake of the recent school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, which killed 19 students and two teachers, the veteran hopes to get more protective shields into school settings. NTD News, Texas.